Hey guys, welcome back to Bimble Designs. First of all, I want to thank all of you for the immense love and support you guys have been showing me for the past few weeks on Instagram as well as on YouTube. Moving on, today's video is going to be a bit different because we are not only going to be making a computer generated mod, a concept, but also implementing it to real life by using a really cool gadget, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. So stay with me, let's move on. So from a long time now, a friend of mine has been asking me to make a custom design interior trim part for his car. He has a design in his mind which he wants to implement on this part of the trim piece. This is the stock interior trim part which we are going to customize in this video. Instead of modifying the existing part, I thought of making a new part by CAD modeling and 3D printing. But here the problem arises. This is a really complex shape and it is really difficult to measure it. But luckily to our rescue, we have a really cool gadget which will be helping us in this situation. Here we have with us the Einstein Vega 3D scanner from Shining 3D which will help us to scan this interior part of the car. Which is a wireless all-in-one 3D scanner which is made for professionals as well as for beginners like me. Whether it is reverse engineering, 3D scanning, 3D printing or digital preservation, this scanner promises you speed, accuracy and most important of all, ease of use like nothing else. Einstein Vega 3D scanner comes with this incredibly robust carrying case. Just look at this. It is built for serious portability and protection. You can tell this case is designed to keep your investment safe. From the back, you can clearly see the advanced camera system and sensors. On the front, we have a 6.4 inch 2K OLED display. It comes along with this silicon case which is ergonomically designed for comfortable handled use. Now let's take a closer look at the wrist strap. It comes in its own little box. It is a great addition for security especially when you're scanning larger objects or when you're scanning for longer period of times. You can just attach it to the mounting socket on the bottom of the scanner and then loop it around your wrist providing extra stability and preventing any accidental drops. It is simple yet effective feature. Next up we have a set of scanning markers and here we have the calibration board. This is crucial for ensuring the scanner's accuracy. This is used to calibrate the device before scanning, maximizing the precision of your 3D scans. Finally we have this box strap. It is a simple but useful addition for securely carrying the case during transport. It makes carrying everything much easier and safer. That completes the unboxing of our Einstein Vega 3D scanner. Now let's power on the device and explore its user interface. Alright, we are booted up. The interface is clean and intuitive. Right away, we see the main scanning modes, the HD mode and the fast mode. Next we have this handy distance slider. This shows the optimal scanning distance. Maintaining this distance is crucial for accurate scans. Now let's dive into the advanced settings. Here you can fine tune the resolution of your scans. This allows you to balance detail and processing time based on your needs. You can also toggle the acquire texture feature here. This captures the color and texture of the objects adding another layer of realism to your 3D models. The Align mode is essential for stitching together multiple scans. We have Feature Alignment, Texture Alignment and Marker Alignment. The Einstein Vega also supports Portrait mode. In Portrait mode, you'll find the same resolution adjustments, Acquire Texture option, and align mode. Let's take a look at the scan library. This is where all your saved scans are stored. Here's a scan that I took in the fast mode. As you can see, even in the fast mode, it accurately captured the details of the small figurehead. Being a quick scan, the precision came out really impressive. Back on the main screen, we have the auto brightness feature, which automatically adjusts the scanner's brightness for optimal scanning conditions. You can also adjust the scanning range here, allowing you to focus on specific areas. The data quality indicator shows the accuracy of your scans in real time. And you can also toggle the texture display to see how the texture is being captured. 
Let's head into the settings menu. Here you can update the software and view the current version. As you can see, we are currently running the latest version. In the settings, you can also find the calibration option. Shining 3D recommends calibrating the device every 7 days for optimal accuracy. That covers the basic user interface and features of the Einstar Vega. In the next part, we'll be practically applying this device in our project. So stay tuned. Just point it towards the area you want to scan, press the start button and then it'll start. I don't have to worry too much about the pre-scan settings as it is a really ready to go device. For scanning the interior, I am going to be using it in the fast mode as the fast mode is suitable for medium to large size objects. You can also use it in the HD mode if you want to do a scan of small to medium size objects and capture more details. I can pause the scanning process to review if anything needs to be rescanned. Another best part about the scanner is that it does not have any wires attached to it which makes it really easy to use. And it is similar to holding a camera or a phone. As you can see, I resumed the scan after reviewing to scan some more surface. The all-in-one Einstar Vega 3D scanner helps you make a mesh out of the point cloud system in the device itself, which makes it really easy to export the model directly out of the device. After I'm done scanning, I'll quickly check the scan data if anything is needed and then press the tick button. You can select the HD mode or the fast mode to process the scanned data into a mesh. After the processing is done, the 3D mesh is ready. It has captured all the details perfectly as you can see. You can then press the share button to change the name of the file and upload it to the cloud to share it further. Now pressing the complete button will save the file in the model library of the device. You can access the 3D model in the model library and use the trim feature to remove all the unwanted areas like I did. You can also use the measure feature to measure the 3D model accurately. Alongside, I also scan the trim piece to make a custom design on it and then 3D print it. Moving on towards CAD modeling, I have reversed engineered this trim piece using the 3D scan and 3D modeled a custom part which I'm going to modify now. This is the pattern which I have 3D modeled using the some reference images which we want to implement on the interior trim piece. I guess it looks about right and we should be moving on with placing it on our own part. So we are now placing it on both the sides left and right. I think it looks pretty decent. Let me finalize it and I'll show it to you how it turns out. Here's the final custom design of the part which we've made. I've shown it to my friend and he really loved it. What do you guys think about this design? Let me know in the comments down below. Just some final touch-ups which need to be done and then we'll be proceeding towards 3D printing. Lastly, just to check the fitment virtually and take a look and feel of it with the interior, I've placed the custom design 3D model onto the scanned 3D model of the interior. It looks really good to me. So now we will go on and 3D print this part. I have now imported the part into a slicing software and made it ready to be printed. Just a few final checks and we are good to go. So guys with the help of 3D scan data we were able to custom design and 3D print this interior trim part as you can see. Now we are going to test fit the part to see the fitment.
As you can see, the part really fits well. It fits like a glove. Einstar Vega 3D scanner really helped us a lot in scanning the area, and because of that, the part is fitting really well. So, guys, the prototype of the custom-made part turned out really well, all because of the Einstar Vega 3D scanner scanning capabilities. And now that we have with us a perfect working prototype, so now we'll be converting it into a finished product. You will get to see the final finished part of the custom-made design we've made on my Instagram page, which I'll be posting once the part is made. So, stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at Bimble Designs if you haven't followed it yet. Do check out the Einstar Vega 3D. scanner the link will be given in the description below if you like the video press that like button comment down below what was the favorite part of your video subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss another update stay tuned until next time